Lock. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. I did get my car for quite a good price, but that price came with a couple of caveats. First one being, the door doesn't unlock from the side, but I do have a fix for it. Let's do it. If your car has automatic door locks, which I think most of these Hondas do anyway, you can get keyless door locks to get into your door so you don't need a lock. I like it because it's just so gigantic, but I don't so much liking to have to come through the passenger door every time I come in. This door opens, it just doesn't lock, so if I want to keep my door locked, I have to um, press the lock button and unlock this door and come out this door. There it is. So this is how to install a keyless entry system into your 2003 Honda Element. This particular model works for Civics as well from 2003 to 2006. So let's get into it. This, I'm guessing, just goes into where your power locks are connected to. And you plug the plug from the power locks into this thing. It's got a little bracket because this thing could have come with power locks or uh, keyless entry. You just opted out of it. Uh, for a hundred more dollars, you can get it if you wanted to. It could also save you a couple of keys because every time you put this key in and it has a transponder in the key, as these keys get older, they wear down and wear down. And soon you won't be able to get into your car or even start your ignition because this key's been worn down so much. Then you'll have to get a new transponder key, which is about depending on where you go, maybe even 500 bucks, depending on how bad the uh, dealership wants to screw you. But if you really need a key, I think Ace makes them. All right, now here's the inside of the, uh, oh, it really looks pretty cool under there. And I've never really seen it like that. Anyways, here's the two screws you wanna undo right here. Or not really screws, they're just kinda twist bolts, I think. You twist them to the, I wanna take you off position, I believe. And it pops out just like that. Then you've got your cabin inside your fuse box. And you've got that green little tag right there. See that green wire? You're just gonna attach that green wire to this green box that I just got. So we're just gonna figure out where we're gonna post it to. We've got a little clip on this side right here. Just clip it into this clip. I believe this is a 10 mil bolt. So if you could find a hole that has a 10 mil on it, it should be fine. Bolt, put through the hole in whichever orientation I suppose you'd like. It'll be uh, attached with a little bit of electrical tape in there. Just try and use your fingers. I wouldn't use anything rough, you know, you don't want to cut accidentally one of these wires, so then you got to replace the whole harness or at least solder a wire back together. Anyways, this green wire, the short one, that's the one. I don't know if you can see that. See where my hand is? Right here? That's where it is. Oh man, this is really not a comfortable position. Right there. This is the box. That's where I clipped it into. And there's a bolt behind here. Right here. You can see it's a little loose right now because I stopped bolting it in so I could show you guys. Oh, you can really hear the rain. I want to get this done really fast. Okay, so I have it bolted in like this. I'm twisting it finger tight always so you don't strip anything. Alright, I'm going to free up this hand so I can have some leverage. Yeah, hey, uh, there's the sun again. A little five minute storm. If you ended up cutting more than you needed to of the tape, I would uh, re-up on the tape. Everything looks good up there though. I didn't, I didn't touch this one. This one's still taped up. The only one I took was that one. Put it into the box. Ratcheted it up. I actually came down and went face first into this hole and looked up at it like that and scared the neighbors by pressing the horn when I came up like 15 times trying to figure out if it was a 10 mil or not. This green one goes into the box. Then on the opposite side of the box is a screw up there, 10 mil, just get it down. All right, now we'll just put this cover back on and we'll be uh, hunky-dory. Actually, we gotta program the remotes. Get myself two remotes. And listen to this. I'm so proud of myself. Lock. Unlock. Lock. Unlock. If you press the double unlock, it's a safety feature. If you press, you lock the car, 
safety feature is press once on the driver's side, press twice, all doors, so someone doesn't come in and try and mug you. That's that. Sometimes you'll have to program them. They actually had programming instructions. Nice that they put the battery size on there and all that stuff for you. But there's uh, programming instructions in there. Basically, if you need to program, all you do is you go from 1 to 2, and in between 1 and 2, you just press the unlock button. Every time you do it, unlock. All in all, I mean, it was only uh, about $100. And uh, since my door didn't open, obviously, uh, this is more of a comfort thing. Amazon warehouse deals, maybe not the worst. You know, it saved like 25 bucks. Some pieces of it were open, but, uh, I mean, it's inspected by Amazon, so, and you could send it back if you, I mean, I, this isn't like a promo for Amazon, but if it works, it works, and it's cheaper, it's cheaper.